Hey, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It is your boy, Codexual, a.k.a. Hatchel, and today we're going to be talking about and fighting the coronavirus COVID-19 with their gaming computers. Now, you're wondering, how the hell do I do that? How can a gaming computer fight off coronavirus? Or even after we're done kicking the boomer's virus ass, you can still use your gaming computer to... Um, have its use its resources, the GPU and CPU, to fight off uh, AIDS, cancer, Alzheimer, all Alzheimer disease. I can't, I can't English right now. Um, you can fight off other diseases. So before the boomer virus kills us and we kick the boomer virus's ass, um, we can still use this PC to fight off other diseases. Now let me explain how it works. So I'm going to be using Bitcoin for an example. Now when you mine for Bitcoin, you're connected to all these other computers, not directly, um, or you don't know who's who. Uh, so we can't like go onto your network and see what files you have. It, it doesn't work out like that. So it does this cloud computing to formulate a Bitcoin. So then it moves on to the next, formulates another Bitcoin. So with this software, what it will be doing is we're going to be cloud computing with each other. Um, it may be you, it may be someone else, it may be someone else uh, around the world who I don't even know of, who never watched this video. So again, we're not going to be looking at each other's IP addresses or looking at other files on each other's networks. It's not going to work out like that. You have your own privacy. I have my own privacy. I don't want people on my stuff. But um, we are going to be using our CPUs and GPUs to formulate uh, these types of viruses of how does it develop and how can we cure it. So it goes through all these algorithms of how does how does AIDS work, you know, how does that get formed? So this is where it's going to deconstruct, reconstruct, and it's going to send that data over towards the Stanford University because that is the school that's backing up this project. Now I've gone ahead and already installed it. If I I don't feel like I've done enough justice to uh, give you the so much more of informative information so you can do your research on another YouTube video. Uh, there's another YouTuber that's uh, back in this video or back in this project. His name is Barnacles. You can watch that video. I'll put his link down in the description. When I was doing a little bit of research about this, I was like, hey, uh, I, I got this news in my stuff. It's like I could fight fight this virus with a gaming computer. So I was actually interested in that. Um, but you can do your research of how it's it works. But I'm going to teach you or show you how to initially set it up. So you go to folding at home. Then go to one in a million. And down at the bottom, it'll say start folding now. Um, and it'll take you to their download. So this can be run on any oper operating system, even on your Android phone. So that's actually quite interesting. Um, and I've already installed it. And once you installed it, this will pop up. So it's the user phase is going to be run on a run on your web browser. So I would like to set up a identity and we could even you can do it as anonymous if you want to, but if you want to join a team, which I'm going to set up a team in front of you guys, that would actually kind of be lit so we can like group up with together. Again, we're not connected towards each other's computers. Um, we're just cloud computing, if anything, and uh, we can fight off uh, as a team with diseases together, and hopefully we can outrank other teams on this project. So... Uh, but if you don't want to join the team, that's fine. Whatever gets you using this, period. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and start folding. I want to set up a identity. Um, I'm going to use code actual. And uh, if you joined a team, uh, you should enter the number above, then the points you have earned. So I'm going to figure out how to set up a team. I'm not going to. I'm not going to touch that. Um, I'm going to set up a password. So let me... Now that you have the identity all set up, which I set up my pass key, I also even created a team. So if you want to join my team, uh, this was randomly generated. I wish I could pick my own number, but hey, whatever. Um, so join my team. If not, 
you can join another person's team or just use this regardless. But uh, yeah, if you want to join my team, here's the number that you got to put in. Uh, 237911. I will put the team number down in the description below. Um, again, if you want to join the team, uh, you can check out the stats page to see where we're at. Uh, you can put in the numbers right here. Um, I barely started using the services as of today of making this video, so I'm not here on the statistics as of yet. So until that populates, I will be on the page. Um, now all I got to do is hit the save, and that's basically it. And you can choose any of the diseases here, even though that there's no coronavirus or the COVID-19 listed. They said just to keep uh, the any disease um, selected. So then you can start folding. Um, this will show you how much of the CPU you're using, how much of the GPU. Uh, shows a little bit more stats. If uh, you want to go full send, this will use all of your CPU and GPU. Um, and it will only do it while you are idle, or you can select it while you are working. Um, if you want to have this program running while you're working, but uh, doesn't want you don't want it to use your full CPU and full GPU, then put it on light or just keep it on medium. But uh, if you're just going to sleep, uh, just put it on full send, dude. Full send this! And just click start folding. You can end it um, at any time. Just click stop folding. So... Um, yeah, that's basically it for this video, guys. Um, there's going to be... Uh, I want to shine some light. Uh, where was the post? Here's there. We're talking about the SARS, the COVID-19 uh, COVID coronavirus. Um, they shine some light on that. So I'm going to put that in to the description down below so you can uh, read about their little announcement. Or I shouldn't say little, but you, you get what I mean. Um... If you liked this video, please share it with a friend, uh, or at least let them know that they could end the coronavirus, help ending the coronavirus just with their gaming computer. As for all you console players, I do apologize. Hopefully, uh, if you do have a gaming computer, uh, this will definitely help out. But um, if you know someone who is a gamer, who has a PC, send this video to them. Let them know what's up. Let them know that we can end this. And after we end it, we again, we can end other diseases as well. We can continue to use this, which is pretty freaking awesome. I'm going to go ahead and sign out. I hope you guys take care. Uh, stay safe, everyone. Don't go to large public places. Uh, if you're a student, um, don't go to class. I mean, even though that schools may not be closed, you know, use common sense. Don't go to school. Um, do online classes. And if you, if your parents beat your ass for not going to school, beat their ass. I'm not, I'm not inciting physical violence, but I'm just saying, use common sense here. Because um, your life truly matters. So, let's make a difference in the world. Let's kick this coronavirus ass. Um, yeah, hopefully you guys can join my team. If so... Let's take care.